Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Jaku. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to unlock the porcelain pipe bomb so you can go ahead and farm the second vault boss, Grave Ward. With this method, you're going to be able to get unlimited XP, money, iridium, legendary loot, and you can also boost characters from level 1 to 50 within a matter of hours. Let's go. Alright, so our first objective is getting the porcelain pipe bomb. So starting off in Sanctuary, I just want you guys to follow exactly where I go on screen right now. Basically what I'm going to be doing is leading you to an area of the map in which Claptrap will have a quest for us. It is a side mission and it's called Raiders of the Lost Rock. So just continuing on and following exactly where I go on screen right now, we will eventually make it to a room in which above the doorway it will say Claptrap. Inside, Claptrap will have the quest for us. Go up to him, grab Raiders of the Lost Rock. Once you've done that, we're just going to accept it and then bring up our map. So once we have that quest, it's time to travel to Eden 6, and the area of Eden 6 that we want to travel to is the Floodmore Basin. Inside of the Floodmore Basin, we are going to go to the location Reliance. As we spawn in, we're just going to walk straight ahead, and on the right next to the vendors will be Professor Miles Brown. We're going to go up to him, talk, and it's going to continue our quest along. After he's finished talking, it is now time to track down a thief. So just grabbing a car and continuing along with this quest, basically what will happen is you will have to go ahead and follow this rock path. So you'll find random rocks along the way and it will lead you on until you get to this final end room here in which you will have to defeat a ton of enemies and once you have defeated all of those enemies you will be asked to grab a rock in which it is called Abigail. Once you have grabbed that rock it's time to return to Miles Brown. So just bringing up our map once again we're going to fast travel back to Floodmore Basin Reliance. As we spawn in go up to Miles Brown, talk to him, hand in the quest and you will notice that you have been given a reward in which it is a grenade. Going into our inventory you can see that this item is the porcelain pipe bomb in which is the key factor to cheesing down the vault boss grave award once we have that grenade we can now cheese the boss as much as we want so bring up your map once again and going to eden 6 we are going to fast travel to the floating tomb this is the entrance for grave ward as we arrive all we have to do is go ahead and jump down this little hole here as we jump down we will activate the boss fight all right so all you guys have to do to kill this boss extremely easily now i am playing on mayhem 3 which is after you beat the game you get a bunch of different difficulties. Mayhem 3 is pretty much one of the hardest difficulties you can be on, and you guys will see just exactly how fast you can melt this boss. Now what we are looking for here is as Grave Ward starts to move and he looks up and turns his head, this is when we are going to start lobbing all our grenades up towards his neck. The reason we aim for his neck is because these nades are going to drop, and once they drop, they'll be hitting about at his crit spot. And if you do this correctly, you will notice that you are starting to do a ton of damage, an insane amount of damage. From playing through the campaign but the first time, you guys will realize how stupidly dumb you can kill this boss. And it's really as simple as that. You should not have to shoot a single bullet. The boss should just die from those grenades alone. Now you can do this with a squad. Just make sure that they get the porcelain pipe bombs or are doing enough damage with whatever weapons they have. And you can also do this with a friend. I did this with a friend in which I went on a level one account and he was the level 50 with the porcelain pipe bombs. He would kill the boss for me. And you can see that I actually went from level one. I did not have a single gun in my inventory straight to level nine. So you can boost characters this way and basically the way you reset the boss every time is you have to quit to the menu and then just start the game back up and you'll spawn in the same area and then you just have to drop down. It's actually extremely quicker than traveling to another place and coming back in. But yeah, that's how you reset the boss. That's how you can farm this boss really easily with that grenade. If you guys liked the video or I helped you out or anything, if you want to tell me down in the comment section, let me know. And subscribe to see more videos like this. I'm going to get a bunch of Borderlands Easter eggs and guides out for you guys. This game is amazing and I hope you guys are enjoying it too. I'll see you guys later. Peace.